hi friends welcome to smart technology friends today in this video we are going to unbox this tp link dual band router uh, actually i got this from amazon for 2300 rupees so let's head to the unboxing so on the box it uh, shows the photo of router and its model number is ac1200 and Wi-Fi router full gigabit dual band and its model number is C6 so when coming to the speeds it has 860 Mbps speeds on 5 GHz and uh, 300 Mbps speeds on 2.4 Mbps 2.4 GHz and it has a multiple user multiple input multiple output mode and full gigabit ports so on side we have a the again model numbers and and we have QR code to uh, download Tether app and back you can see here one WAN port that is for internet and four uh, LAN ports so here we can see the pricing and the pricing is uh, 4,999 rupees but I got this in Amazon for 2,300 rupees so let's open it So this is a router, it's packed in a cover, it's very good and this is a power cable mm, and let's see the rating, uh, let's see uh, here the rating is 12 volts and 1 amp output, 12, total 12 volts and uh, here is a manuals and the quick start guide, actual we, do, we everyone don't read it so let's keep this to the side and this is an rj45 cable for connecting to your pcs so let's keep this all to the side and let's have a look at the router so the router is packed in a nice cover let's open it i'm cutting it So this one has a antenna, has antennas, four antennas. So let's take this everything stickers. So it's a nice texture, black color and it's a fingerprint magnet also. So let's take this uh, stickers and we'll continue with the overview. So on the top it's written as TP link and it's good texture black color and it's fingerprint magnet as you can see it. So here we can see one power symbol. This is for 2.4 signal. This is for 5 GHz signal. This is for LAN connection signal. This is for internet signal. And this is for uh, WPS. So let's see on the back. Here we can see on the back uh, we have a website to register the router that is configure the router and on the back side we have a internet cable power power on and off you can as yes, we have power switch a reset switch and WPS Wi-Fi on and off internet cable and four LAN ports so now let's connect to the power and go for the configuration so here they go I connected to the power and it shows power symbol 2 by 4 it's on and 5 GHz is also on so internet is red so we have to configure it let's go into the system so you can see here I have connected the cable also so we have configure it so this is the interface so we have to connect to any of the network uh, and go to this website i can see here 192.168.0.1 if you open it 
it will come a page will appear like this you can you should create the password uh, that for login into the router router page for uh, configuration changes and everything so we have to create a password let's create a password so the password is high enough let's enter the same password here also so let's get started so as we have set the password please it's asking us to login again so let's login login so here we have to select the time time zone so and our time zone is uh, india so it's 5:30 so next so here we have to select our uh, ips provider if you don't know about it select auto detect or contact our ips isp so uh, for me it's dynamic I, I, dynamic and we have to select don't clone mac address and next so you, you can see here smart connect before that uh, we have to disable it and there we can see uh, separate networks for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks so here you can edit the names change the passwords and whatever you want you want for every separate separate networks so i'm going next i'm not changing anything so check the summary until now it's dynamic ip smart connect is off 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and click save so it's getting loaded let's wait it takes some time let's wait so next it's completed and uh, it's asking for us to log in with tp link id if you don't have you can ha if you want to register you can register if you have you can log in if you don't want and log in later click login later and click on finish before finish uh, yes we can see down we can see the passwords and this is the main interface of the router so we will go, we'll go to advance and check the settings okay you can see the details of the network so we'll go to network and internet dynamic IP it's, it's already dynamic IP we can see it uh, LAN we have not connected any LAN operation mode you can use it as a rotor or access point access point means some sort of repeater type Connect, uh, one rotor it is connected to this rotor that's that's more called access point so here we have wireless settings so here we can again edit our Wi-Fi network names and uh, edit them so here we have to change the settings uh, keep it as recommended and version will changes to wpa2 psk and with channel with change it to maximum possible 40 megahertz channel is keep it to auto and uh, leave it as auto transmit power keep it as high and see here 5 gigahertz uh, have here 5 gigahertz and open it same uh, WPA2 and PSK and the channel with uh, for we have 80 megahertz select that channel save it and transmit to our high and save it so now it gets saved in this option this is the main option this is called multiple user multiple input multiple auto most of the flags when most of the laptops support this so if you turn on this uh, if you use number of connected devices to the router uh, everything will get the same and everything will get the same priority for network so let's look into the other one guest network so any guest arrive to your house you can check here uh, you can enable guest network 
so in guest network also you have 2.4 and 5 hertz both so you can enable whatever you want parental controls if you want to control any websites or some anything you can enter this so next qs quality of service so i am not going to enable it security settings these are not these are not required much and ipv6 and if you have ipv6 and your operator isp provider supports ipv6 and uh, you can turn it on so i am turning it off and next uh, go to smart life some of the tp link routers support alexa but this model doesn't support alexa so, and, and system so here we can see many options time settings we can set the time here led controls uh, led controls on the router can we can turn them on or off and we can use the night mode system time night mode means uh, we can set the time when to on when to turn off so i want to keep the i want to turn on turn on night and i want a little to on continuously and we can diagnose the router from here and next firmware update we can update from here the, you, can, you can check the updates if any updates are available it will show updates the router is firmware update up to date so if you have any firmware file you can update from directly from here also browse this from your pc and upgrade it will get updated and next backup and restore you can backup all the settings for if you, if you reset the router if you don't or you can have a if you backup and you can same search the file from the pc and click on restore uh, and we have a uh, row factory restore option also reboot uh, you can set the time at which time the router can be re rebooted so i am not enabling it and administrator you can change the passwords here for the router as which we have kept on first one first so, so this is the, about the web version of tp link so now let's get to the So you can see the summary uh, which which are on and which are off. You can see a five G ads also guest network and everything. So now let's get to the phone app. So this is the so you can see I have connected the Wi Fi network. You can open the Play Store and op search this app TP Link will find an app open it install it and open it we will be asked to sign in to a email and password if you don't have you can you should sign in so i am signing in and we will meet after sign in so i have signed in and it's looking for devices so we have as we have connected to the router it shows the tp link this model uh, which is the router model so we are logging into tp link so we have to enter the password which we have kept in the beginning that's something uh, for the login into router page so i am entering and logging in so this is the main interface of the router it's getting loaded from here you can manage separately for 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands and networks names and passwords so these are the devices connected this is my first one is my uh, laptop and this is my device which i am showing you now and if you go to more op more options you can see here the connection type everything so we have already set it i am not uh, changing it again so we have a wireless option for to for turning off 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless internet connection it shows whether the internet is connected or not so it says connected let's go back so here next option we have operation mode we can use it as a router or a repeater mode that's about it network diagnosis if we click on diagnosis it will say whether it's connected or not so it's great your network is online it says 
and next go to home tools again let's see the system i can firmware update from here we can reboot it from here whatever we can do from we can control it from the app so this is the main page of the router so you can check uh, for the basic connection setup we can check from the home page also so this is about the tp-link router so if you have any questions or any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i will try to answer them thank you for watching thank you bye